And good evening. Welcome once again to my daily Facebook Live talk. Although eventually this can be in a podcast, I think, so maybe I start changing that title. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Selby. I am the relationship attraction expert for strong, successful women helping you find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine and the best selling author, speaker as well. And these are my daily Facebook Lives called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 209. Yes, I do a lot of these every day, in fact. And today's one is actually part two. It may become a series that I'm doing right now as a lead up to the new year. And again, this is after Christmas, so get over that. I'm kidding. However, I'm doing these daily pieces about planning for 2018. Now, for those of you who follow me, you know that my work is about area is helping women attract amazing relationships. Well, what I'm teaching you is actually for use anywhere in life, not just relationships, not just for women, not just for men. It's for everybody. So yesterday I spoke about intentions and the power of intention, the way they do them effectively, and actually spoke about mind maps and ideal scenes. So if you didn't watch that, I highly recommend you do watch the replay from yesterday, which is 208. I'm 208 on my wall because that's got some useful content in it. And I mentioned yesterday about vision boards. So of course I have to do one today because otherwise I'd let you down somehow and I'd like, wouldn't want to do that. So Welcome to my broadcast. If you're not already following me on Facebook or on social media, please make sure you're doing so. And if you want to watch my replays, I'll tell you where you find those at the end of the broadcast, if I remember. But what I want to talk about today is what vision boards are about, because many people think they know how to do them, and they're close, but not quite enough. And I'll explain what I mean. For many people, the idea of a vision board is basically a collage, which in simplistic terms, it really is. It's basically a bunch of pictures stuck on a board. But there's more to it than that. And that's why I want to help you with this. This actually is um, week, This is module two of my Attract the Man You Want program. Ladies, if you're in case you're interested, check that out. Um, but it's basically a tool I've learned over the years and distilled down from other people's teachings and different pieces of the puzzle to really make it work. So, some keys. First of all, you want to make a vision board that is attractive. <laughs> sounds as crazy as it sounds. Because a vision board is about creating a vision you want to have in your life. So you make it attractive. What does that mean? It means using images, pictures, cut out magazines, stuff you download off the web and print, any way you want to do this, that you decorate the vision board with, all around the place. And I recommend highly that you do vision boards in the different areas of life you're focusing on, rather than just one montage. You can do one for everything if you want, but I frankly recommend the energetically speaking is to put your vision boards into particular areas. So have one for health, have one for money, have one for work, one for spirituality, and have one for relationship, because that's the one I'm helping you with, of course. So when that relationship vision board is being created, pictures you want to put up there are pictures that for you, and again, this is for you, not for anybody else. So don't necessarily put up pictures that are generically the right ones, unless they speak to you. The pictures you want to cut out of magazines, ideally, evoke a feeling in you that you like. So they can be pictures of couples walking hand in hand down the street and maybe they're walking away from you because that way their faces aren't visible. So you can imagine yourself being the partner in that image. Maybe it's a silhouette of you against the sunset with your lover kissing under the, under the sunlight or something like that. Pictures that for you speak to what you want in that area. And again, I'm talking about relationship as easy topic because it's the one I specialize in. Second thing, you also want to add to those pictures around the vision board Affirmative statements and words and phrases that additionally add content and value to your vision board. So words like joy-filled, um, exciting, adventurous, loyal, monogamous, honest, all these different words that you have, I'm sure you do, a list in the back of your head about what you want in a partner and in a relationship. So that these words become affirmative content to really boost your vision board and express your true um, ideas of what you want to have. So that's, that's two parts. The third part, and this is the one most people miss. Yes, people miss this one. Actually, no, let me rewind. Part two, part, um, number two, part B. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm tweaking this. The words that you put up on your vision board must be affirmative. And I mentioned that briefly. I want to explain more about that. Because it's sometimes tempting to put up like, a, um, like cutting out a magazine, a no smoking sign and sticking it on the vision board. It's cute, but it's not, tr it's not ideal because the problem is when you put a negative statement up on your vision board, the negative part gets, in, gets omitted. So if you say someone who's um, not cheating, well, what your subconscious picks up and what you're programming yourself with from the vision board, and I'll get to that in a moment, by the way, as well, is cheating. So like a no smoking sign, 
What stands out most on that sign is the word smoking or the cigarette, whatever that is. So use words and symbols and images that are positive and affirmative. Must have those in place. Um, I'll get the feeling tone in a minute. I'm, I'm, plan I'm planning ahead. S third, part three, third part, and this is the piece that most people miss, is in the middle of the vision board, right smack dab in the center. It's a picture of you. Yes, a picture of you, current one, please, at least within the last couple of years. Unless you, unless you change radically in the last six weeks, I'd say the last couple of years is fine. But that picture you have on the vision board that is you, and here's the key again, because again, it's about affirmative, powerful, positive statements, images, etc. That picture of you in the middle of the vision board should be a happy one. So if you're looking serious and stoic because you're in a formal business picture, it may not really work for you. Maybe on the business page you could put that on there, if you're doing vision board for your business. But for a relationship, the more positive, loving, happy, joyful picture you can have of yourself solo, so if it's with other people, cut them out, it's a picture of you, the better. By doing so, you're infusing yourself and your energy into the vision board. And again, that's going to come up in the energy I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, number four. Sorry, number four. Number four is the vision board when it's finished, and it can be a work in progress. In fact, in my program, again, attract the man you want, hint, hint, <laughs> just plant the seeds. The vision board actually gets revisited two more times during the program because the vision board, when you first do it, is a starting point. So bear, bear in mind, your vision board may not be complete when you put it up. And this is the part about putting it up. Your vision board should be placed somewhere visible to you. And if you share space with somebody else, like a housemate or kids, put it somewhere that you can have it ideally privately because you want to maybe go into the vision board in a certain level of um, intimacy. Your vision board could be quite sexy, in fact, if you're doing one about relationships. So that vision board you're building is for you, not for anybody else. And if you're, oh, I say this, if you're in the middle of a breakup in a relationship, you may want to put the vision build somewhere else entirely, not in the house you live in, because that would be really messy. But presuming you're single and available and looking for a relationship, put the vision board somewhere you'll see it every day. Next to your bathroom mirror or on, a, on your, your closet in your bedroom, there's a good place to put it. It could be on the fridge in the kitchen, but it's probably better to put it in somewhere away from food because you want the energy of it to be around romance. So in your bedroom is a good place to put it. I'm just, I think you're getting this. That's number four. Number five, I'm talking about the energy I mentioned earlier. The reason why your vision board has to include positive words and statements, positive images, and a happy picture of you on it, those three things, the first three steps, is because those images and words are creating something in you. Yes, it's not static. The vision board is not just a picture on a wall. Oh, no, no, no. A vision board is your doorway to what you really want. Sit with that one for a moment. Your vision board is a doorway that you can create a entryway to where you want to go. So, for example, in the case of relationship, if you're looking to attract an amazing partner in a relationship, ladies particularly, because ladies, your focus and your skills is in attracting. We men, it's more about the pursuing and the hunting energy. But if you're looking... Actually, let me break this down for a second, just on that moment, on that thought. Ladies, your vision board should be something that you want to attract. Gents, if you're watching this, your vision board should be something you want to go after. So imagine you're mapping out your, and it sounds crude to say it this way, your target. So put a vision board up with something that you want to go after and, and pursue energetically. Ladies, you want to create a vision board that you want to pull in and bring into your life. That's a key difference for you to understand, by the way, for men and women. So that's a whole other conversation for another time, although I may have done it before. I know I have talked about it before. After 209 broadcasts, I know I've done it before. <laughs> so back on this topic. So the vision board, it may be incomplete when you put it up. When you, so you put it up in the place that is visible and attract, easy for you to see. Make sure it's well lit. I mean, it sounds so crazy. Some people, say, some people put it back on the, on the inside of their closet door so they just know it's there but they can't see it. It's like put it somewhere visible and make, it, make sure it's lit up so you can see it. That vision board, it may actually create results very quickly or it may take a few months. Be willing to be patient. And again, as I said, the vision board may not be complete when you put it up. That's okay. The idea of doing a vision board is you can add to it as you go through because you might discover when you look at the vision board that maybe two weeks into having the vision board up, you go, oh, I totally forgot. I need to put that on there. And if you have space on your vision board, that's much easier. Now, you may come to a point where some of the things on the vision board come down because you go, you know, I don't really want that. That was an idea at the beginning, but it's not true for me. So having adhesive that's removable is also a nice idea. Oh, by the way, that's tools. Let me put, that's, that's number five, five or six. Tools. To create a vision board, you want ideally to have something like a, um, 
not a foam board or something, what I'm looking for, like cardstock, like a big cardstock, ideally two foot by three foot or bigger if you want, depending on the space for it, of course. But the more room you have to play, the more fun you can have. So with that, you also want to have um, a decent pair of scissors, sounds silly, adhesive, and I would recommend probably adhesive you can remove without tearing anything apart, so you can get a, a paper glue or something like that, um, and get a whole bunch of magazines. If you, you can find a place you can get them from, it's great. And again, you can use the web if you find images on the web, you want to download and print. If you have an inkjet printer, you can do that. But do the work to make this work for you. This is a powerful tool. And adding this to what I said yesterday, which is about um, the power of the intention and creating a, an ideal scene, a, a, a special version of a mind map, which if you go back and watch yesterday's broadcast, you can see the review of that one. That was 208, this is 209. These tools are powerful visualization tools and powerful affirmative tools for you to attract what you really want. So again, this is not just for a relationship, but I'm just using that as a model because that's what I teach and what I work with. You can use this in the area of money, business, spirituality, health, any area you want. And I do recommend you do a vision board for each if you've got space for it. You can do one composite vision board if you want, but again, if you can do them individually, you have more energy and put into them because you can add more pictures, more words, and more affirmative content to it. And again, if you have vision boards that are individual, if you have more than one, you need more than one picture of you smack dab in the middle, as I mentioned. I think that's everything you need to know. i cover all the steps. If you're just joining me, please watch from the beginning. I did break down the, so far, five or six steps. Well, five plus a bonus. Steps on how to create a vision board that works for you in the area of relationship particularly, but every area in your life you can use it for as well. I think that's it. Um, yeah, well, you know what? If you have any questions, please put them below. I'll answer them later on. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, you can watch my other broadcast. This is number 209. Yeah, 209 daily broadcasts on Facebook Live. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad, I'm glad this step works for you. You're very welcome. Um, and let me know how it goes. I'd appreciate getting feedback on how this works for you. So, yeah, use it. So, again, if you haven't watched my other broadcasts, especially the one I did yesterday, which is the precursor to this one, because this one is Vision Board, <clears throat> yesterday's was ideal scene which are part and parcel they work together and i'll talk about that more tomorrow because i could have something else to talk about tomorrow maybe well before the new year's and this is part of us this is part of a reminder to you that with the new year coming up in a week's time just less than a week's time we'll be in 2018 wouldn't it be a good idea to like plan well for it energetically and this is what i'm helping you with so if you've got any other questions or want some help in this area please message me over social media if you have any thoughts or ideas or questions about what i said in this broadcast please put them below in the um, uh, comments below the broadcast and oh and my replays if you haven't watched my broadcast before I do these every day this is number 209 done a few you can find this on my business page on Facebook which is Barry Selby the author I have a blue shirt on in the picture in case you want to find me there I also have them on my YouTube channel which is Barry Selby and then they get posted onto my website which is barryselby.com you notice the theme of naming here yeah my website is barryselby.com and if you go on there, you'll see a, a link, sorry, a navigation choice, which in the menu, which it's a menu item, that's what I'm thinking of, called uh, Video Blog, and you can see them all there. But this is part of a, apparently a new series I just decided to do yesterday, I didn't know I was doing it, on ideas and tips to prepare for 2018. If you want help in this area, reach out to me. Again, if you have any questions about this particular topic or have ideas, feedback, thoughts, experiences, please put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for joining me. This is by... This is my regular talks, usually about love and relationships, but this one, I figured since it's the end of the year and Christmas is over. <laughs> okay, let me do a little rant. So I just, I've got to do this. It's been bugging me for a while <laughs> about Christmas. For those of you who celebrate Christmas in the United States, uh, Christmas Day was Monday and you're now done with it. Now the sales are happening, everybody's over it. Well, where I come from, in case you're wondering, it's not America, it's England. We actually do what's called Twelfth Night. So we have Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Boxing Day would have been yesterday. But we also leave the tree up and the decorations up till 12th night, which is January 5th. If your tree is already out by the curb, shame on you. This is the thing about luck and about um, superstition, I know. But for me, the decorations of Christmas should last at least, in, well, not least, they should last at least till the new year and ideally till January 5th, which is 12th night. And by the way, 12 days of Christmas starts on Christmas Day, not 12 days before. So depending on the traditions, it could be different, by the way. Um, you just took your tree down today. <laughs> Well, just just bless it on its way out, is all I say to that. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, 
So my, my invitation to you, if you haven't taken down your tree just yet, is leave it up till January 5th. Keep ordering it, keep it going. If it's an official one, so be it. But I watch all these trees by the curb on the day after Christmas, and it saddens me, because it's like, you've, you've put up a tree, and this is, oh, it's another, it's a PS to the rent. Um, do yourself a favor, get a living one, not a cut one. I know that they, you, can, you can get them now, and you have a living one. You can put it out in your backyard, or you can sell it, or give it to somebody else, and it keeps growing. And frankly, cutting all these trees down is not good for the environment, or for everything else for that matter. So, anyway, that's my double rant on the PS for this broadcast. <laughs> So again, if you want to help in this area, please reach out to me. Thanks for watching my broadcast, including the rants at the end. Um, if you came in late, please watch from the beginning. And tomorrow, I presume I'll be talking about part three, whichever that's going to be about, preparing for 2018, unless something else comes up. And uh, if you have any ideas for broadcasts, by the way, about love and relationships in particular, but about maybe this topic too, message me over social media as well. I'm open to some good input. And with that, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me, and as always, please take care of yourself, especially this time of year. For some people out there, this time is very challenging because of the fact they may be alone over Christmas, and I did a talk about that on Christmas Eve. So if you want, if you have some challenges being being lonely over Christmas, please watch the broadcast from Christmas Eve. That was a good one that might help you with that. And with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.